subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Eastern Spotted Skunk. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, Hero. What? Ah, what's this? You brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm, we should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an eastern spotted skunk with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came out of a hole in our garden. It returned my golf ball. Perhaps the skunk thought your golf ball was food. Skunks are scavengers, which means they eat anything they can find. They eat fruit, worms, eggs, leaves, you name it. Their favorite prey, however, are insects and rodents. That is why they can be important for farmers. Eastern spotted skunks eat insects that feed on farmers' crops. They also help farmers get rid of pests, like rats and mice. I didn't know skunks can be so useful. Ranger Rocky, we want to find a suitable home for the skunk. Do you know what we should look for? You should take it to a place with shelter, so a place that protects them from bad weather and danger. Eastern spotted skunks like to live in burrows, tree holes, and hollow logs, and sometimes inside and under buildings. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ah, my hat! I'll get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. Katie! Get away from my sister! At least it got away from Katie. Chase the coyote away. <laughs> Ew, it stinks. Good work. 
work, Skunk. Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. Goodbye, Skunk. We did it! We found a home for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Good work, everybody! Hooray! Yay! an eastern spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian Peacock. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy. Hero, leave that bird alone. <coughs> Be nice, Hero. You're much bigger than that bird. Hey, look. The bird dropped a feather. Feathers are important because they help birds fly, keep them warm, and hide them from predators. You found another feather, Hero. It must be from another bird. Look, it has a different color. Let's see if we can find more feathers. What is it, Hero? You found another feather? Wow, is that a feather? It looks so different from the other feathers. It's so big and it's so colorful. What was that? Wow, it's a big and beautiful bird. I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at those feathers. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. So, the bird you found is... It's an Indian peacock, also known as a blue peacock. Well, it definitely is blue. And it's called an Indian peacock because it comes from India? That's right. It's usually found in the rainforests of India and Sri Lanka. Peacocks eat seeds, fruits, insects, and even small animals like lizards and snakes. What else did you find out, Katie? Actually, a peacock is a male, like the one you found. And a female is called a peahen. The peacocks, or males, are more colorful and have bigger tail feathers. The peahens, or females, have more dull-looking colors. Both the male and female are called a peafowl. So it's an Indian peafowl. Correct. Not all peafowls are blue, though. Some are born with white feathers. And peafowls are one of the largest flying birds in the world. Such an interesting bird. I don't think it belongs in our garden. We should bring the peacock back to its friends. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a male Indian peafowl, or a peacock. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to bring it back to its friends. You're just in time, Leo. It's mating season. That means it's time for the peafowl to make baby peafowls. See the peacock showing off his tail feathers? He is trying to attract the peahens, the female peafowls. So, he's looking for a girlfriend. 
Where can we find a female or peahen? The peacock prefers to have multiple girlfriends or mates, so you should look for a group of peahens. All peafowls stay on the ground during the day, but they sleep in tall trees during the night to protect themselves from other animals. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Jeraki. With the jeep, we should get there in no time. What is it, Hero? Leo, it looks like some big cats are following us. They could be jungle cats, Katie. It says jungle cats are one of the peacock's predators. This means jungle cats hunt peacocks for food. Don't worry, Katie. We're safe in the jeep. Oh, no! It looks like we have a flat tire. Can we change it? There's no time. Those jungle cats are too close. Quick, let's start walking. <gasps> there are too many. Peacock scared the jungle cats away by making itself look big. Good work, Peacock. Your feathers are really useful. Ah. Oh. We did it. Oh. We found a group of peahens. Hooray! Yay. an Indian peacock in our garden. We learned that peacocks are male peafowls. They have big tail feathers to impress the females, which are called peahens. So we went to the rainforest and found a group of peahens for the peacock. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for Mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs.
Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a male oriental pied hornbill with you today. How can you tell it's a male Ranger Rocky? Oriental pied hornbills have a yellowish white knob on the top of their beaks. This knob is called a cask. Female oriental pied hornbills have much smaller casks, as compared to the larger casks males have on their beaks. Ranger Rocky, the hornbill was trying to catch a lizard in our garden. It must be hungry. Hmm. Perhaps it was looking for food for its mate and chicks. It's the Oriental Pied Hornbill's breeding period. The male looks for food while the female stays with their young chicks in the nest. Oriental Pied Hornbill nests are built in the holes of tall trees. The male and female hornbill seal up the tree hole with mud, leaving only a small opening. The female hornbill stays in the hole with her chicks. The male hornbill hunts for food, which it brings to the female and chicks through the small opening. Then we will keep an eye out for tall trees with sealed holes. That would be a good start. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh, no. Why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the Oriental Pied Hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight, we're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry, we'll help you find your home. Look, Leo. The Hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby Hornbills. We did it. We found the Oriental Pied Hornbill's nest. Great job, everybody! Yay! Hooray! an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!